In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with a spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways, making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet. Come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. 
They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel passage, a spirit with a, a, a spirit a man, rather, with a spirit of an unclean demon, asks Jesus loudly, What have you come to do with us? Have you come to destroy us? Jesus neither shrank in the face of this aggression nor reacted in kind. Instead, he only addressed the demon and brought the man healing and peace. So often in the Gospels, Jesus does not respond in kind to those who oppose him, but neither does he back down from them. The Lord doesn't relate to us as we often relate to him. His approach is always more generous, more loving, and more merciful than our approach to him and to one another. When people in the synagogue saw Jesus' encounter with the disturbed man, they were amazed at his authority and the power he had over unclean spirits. Jesus exercises his authority by showing love and kindness to those with no claim on it except for their need. In that way, he shows us what genuine authority looks like. Let us pray that Jesus' example may guide us in approaching one another in a spirit of love and mercy and with a desire for true understanding and peace. Confident of God's love and goodness, we bring these prayers before him. That our church leaders may be true to the authority given to them by Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are actively working for peace and unity may be supported by the prayers and actions of all who live in the name of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are lonely and anxious, that they may be encouraged and supported by God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for health and blessings for the members of the D. Girolami family for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died for those who are sick and those who care for them, and for all the elderly and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your will. We make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. 
our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Gregory and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit.
Anus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Anus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Anis Angelicus, fit panis hominum, dat panis celicus, Figuris ter minum, Ores mirabilis manducat dominum, Pauper ser buset Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.